According to the organization, vision impairment affects at least 2.2 billion people globally. In at least 1 billion of that number, vision impairment could have been prevented or hasn't been addressed yet. In sub-Saharan Africa, those cases are a dime a dozen, as Nigeria's Minister of Health, Osaje Anire, has disclosed that 84% of blinding diseases in Nigeria are avoidable. While that sinks in, a part of that percentage are in this school in Lagos, Pacheli School for the Blind, established six decades ago by the Catholic Church and named after Pope Pius XII. As you pass by, the statue of the Virgin Mary welcomes you with open arms. They gather here, the sisters, the teachers, invited guests, and the children who demonstrate some of the skills they've learned in arts and crafts and performing arts to commemorate the school's 60th anniversary. The vision impaired play, the hearing impaired dance, and the sisters can't wait to get in on the action. This enthusiasm is echoed by the principal of the school, who is grateful for a number of reasons. I'm grateful to a lot of Nigerians, many Nigerians who are so generous. They come here to donate, both in cash and in kind. The greatest achievement is that some of our children that have graduated here, the students that graduate here, they go to secondary school, from secondary university, my greatest joy is that many of them are happily married with children and we have many of them that are barristers, we have bankers, we have uh, musicians. Koban is one of us, Pachelian. So that's what gives us inner joy that we have achieved so great and they are doing very well. A counselor and a teacher share more info. We have people that have rich, we have poor people among them that they can't afford big school or school that they need to pay school fees. So these children need assistance in many ways. Working with um, visual impaired, it's not really easy, both with them and with anybody working with them. Some of them, I can't see, can somebody come to marry me? I can't see, will somebody accept me? That acceptance is part of what historical figures Helen Keller and Louis Braille worked on many years before. She co-founded Ellen Keller's International in 1915 and worked for the American Foundation for the Blind. Louis Bray was born January 4th, 1809 in France. He lost his sight at the age of three. Other students share their hopes and aspirations. Now I can cook with sight edge. I've competed with sight edge before, but I defeated, I defeated them and I'm, I'm happy. I know that the future is bright. When I came to Pacelli, I can remember that I don't know how to read and write. I can't spell. But through Pacelli, I can read, I can write, and I can spell. For vision impaired children, education in a caring environment is light in a dark place. And while they can hardly see it, they can certainly feel it. Olumide Macaulay, Channels Television News.